like I'm not saying to get into nerd media to write off <laughs> your, your clothes and your merch, but also I'm not not saying that like to nerd aesthetics a show about nerd style in my first interview of this series we're going back to my roots to my core to one of my first fandoms and a major influence on probably who i am as a person uh sailor moon and who better than to dis- who better to discuss sailor moon with than my guest sailor victoria um we can talk about sailor moon we can talk about anime as a whole um i'm very excited and when i thought of the show you were like my first thought because uh we have very similar style we're wearing similar kind of vibe shirts right now honestly of sort of like steampunk vaporwave uh sailor moon shirt vibe um and you host a sailor moon podcast sailor moon fan club so um i know that you have so much knowledge about Sailor Moon in general, anime culture, and the ways in which like Sailor Moon specifically and anime as a whole have like infiltrated, (laughs) it sounds like a bad word, but infiltrated our like sense of nerd style and pop culture. So I want to talk to you about that. Uh, But first, feel free to introduce yourself. You are a creator, a journalist. What else should the people of this very brand new uh, YouTube series know about you? (laughs) Oh, gosh, what should they know? Um, So first of all, I feel like we have to do like that whole like thing with our shirts. (laughs) But but I'm Victoria Johnson. I am the host of the Sailor Moon Fan Club podcast, where I interview incredible fans of the Sailor Moon fandom, including your host here. Connie Gibbs. Uh, and um, I also uh, do panels, moderate panels, um, working on a comic book right now about a hip hop inspired magical girls comic book. Super excited about. Yeah. Ooh, and yes. We also, like, come back fashion. to that. Me, yes, I want to come back. To, I was like, wait, wait, I forgot. But now we got to yeah, come back no. to that. We're on it. We're good. We're good. Um, and then what else do I do? I feel like there's a third thing. <laughs> there's a secret third thing I'm forgetting. <laughs> um, you make you like host like cool events in the city. Oh, That's yeah. one of them. That's a I thing. Was like, I maybe do. that'll trigger the other one you're thinking of. Yeah, no, I think um, that was it. I do I do, do events sometimes in the city, which is fun. I'm like quietly going to my website because I'm like, what, the <laughs> do? what else there. do I do? I guess that's I've it. Yeah, there. panels and the podcast and I am a writer journalist um as you mentioned earlier so just random articles on the internet every so often (laughs) same literally same um I remember I don't again this happens to me often where it's like it's kind of the power of the internet where Mm -hmm. something comes across your feed and you're like that's my thing and then I don't remember where I got it from because I've been following you since like right before the podcast came out Mm -hmm. like I don't remember why I saw it Maybe someone sent it to me. I don't know what it was, but I was like, yes, immediately, yes. Um, so, and now we're friends. Like, we what are. kind of this is? Tell me about, well, first tell me about your, like, interest in Sailor Moon. Like, were you sitting in on and watching it on Toonami like I was at, like, 4, 4.30 uh, after school? And then you cried when you missed an episode and do you remember that marathon that they had that was like the Sailor Moon R arc on a Saturday and it was just like for me it was like a rainy day and I was just sitting in front of the TV like having the best time of my life tell me about that I love that and I feel like those are very specific and at the same time I'm like same <laughs> but yeah so definitely was watching um on Tsunami after school um every day like religiously I don't think I ever missed an episode but that was because I was not a person who was involved in after school activities or sports in any way so um yeah I definitely if I missed an episode I didn't realize it but I don't think I was dragged somewhere and I was like but it's four o'clock I'm gonna miss Sailor Moon and I was like I probably would have cried too because (laughs) you needed to know what was gonna happen like that was important it was (laughs) very important it was so yeah, I was definitely that person, that kid watching it every day, along with like Dragon Ball Z, and then I would skip Gundam Wing and then watch Tenchi Muyo. <laughs> yes, truly the same, truly the same. 
Um, <laughs> I'm like, this is time to do my homework. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, actually, my thing was my grandma watched the news. And so Ooh. she was like, five o'clock, the news comes on. And that's your time is four o'clock. Four o'clock was my hour. Got and it. so I did what I could with that hour. <laughs> that worked, though, because I think Sailor Moon came on at four and then yep. Dragon Ball Z came on at 430. So you exactly. were good. You're good. Exactly. <laughs> uh, no, Dragon Ball Z came on at five because at some point I was... I got my own TV and then was able to start watching Dragon Ball Z. Got it. Um, and yeah, so. Got it, got it. Okay. Um, when you were younger, whether a kid or a teen or maybe even the college years, do you think you had style? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I was definitely like a person into like, well, at the time I thought I had style. Looking back. Ah, though, like, interesting. Okay. I Even as a kid, I wasn't ever on trend or having a sense of style. <laughs> See, I was definitely like a person into baby fat, um, wearing a lot of baby fat. I had like a name, name plate. I grew you up- were stylish for the time. You were I stylish. Was. Yes. I definitely was. I had like the big like metallic belts. I was- Did it say was- Victoria or was it just like the the regular? <laughs> the the <laughs> like name plate had regular. Vicky. Yeah. It said Vicky and it was ah. a gift from my friend and I did wear it very I often. It was a clear you. one, clear uh, belt. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, <laughs> so that I was like that for you. School, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you were that I was on style. That was on trend. That was stylish. So yes, you were stylish as a kid. I love this. Well, but then high school came and I had to wake up earlier. <laughs> and I was just mm-hmm. like, I don't have time for this. Grab a hoodie, some jeans. I'm just here to learn. Like, I'm, yeah. just, I'm just here because I have to be. And there's the nerd part. <laughs> and there's the nerd part where you're like, okay, but my education is very important. <laughs> right. And y'all not let me get enough sleep anymore. So I'm just going to have to cut it out. Like, it was like, do you want to wake up earlier to like get dressed and like put on like a cute outfit? Or do you want to sleep more and just put on a hoodie? And I chose sleep because because I'm always mm-hmm. choose sleep mood uh that is another thing that the two of us share is that we're both Tauruses and you saw Usagi is not a Taurus she's a Cancer but that just everything about there might maybe there's a moon or a rising or something in her because she has the same values of sleep snacks TV games like ah, completely relatable and I'm like wow I wasn't really conscious of it but her influence Seriously, I keep, I always wonder, I'm like, it's like a chicken in the egg. I'm like, I don't know if she influenced right. me or if I was like that. So I liked it because it right. made me. But right. Unclear. But unclear, but either way, yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Um, and then there's also actually like a theory that Luna's a Taurus because there's no actually senshi Ooh. that are Tauruses, but I can kind of see Luna being a Taurus. Right. Yeah. Very so, grounded. And naps and- mm-hmm. Cat naps. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Um, how would you call your style now? Like, are there three words that you would use to describe what your style is today? Yeah, I think definitely classic. I think one thing I've learned from the past is, you know, not to follow trends as much. So I'm definitely more of like a, you know, I like my high waisted pants, even uh, though it's yes. kind of trendy, but like, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love a good graphic t-shirt. Um, Absolutely. Bomber jackets. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and definitely like girly, nerdy, uh, I mean, girly, cute kind of. Um, I'm not going to say nerdy because I feel like that's a given on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I will allow it. Uh, I will allow it because mine is whimsical nerd casual. So it is part okay. of the, it is an important part of the, of the phrase. Okay. Well, I feel like I might have four then. Is that okay, all? that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> it's like a style theory that I saw. You can watch mm. in the last video where I explain where I saw it. Mm. But um, if it's more than four, I yeah, that makes sense. If yeah. uh, you know, sometimes I think nerd is probably the through line mm-hmm. to the other three. So it's like the base. Yeah, Let's that's what that. it is. Yeah. Let's so go with that. On. The nerd. Yes, yes. Yeah. You were coming up with our own style concepts and everything. <laughs> it's a whole guide. It's a whole thing. Exactly. Um, well, for the Instagram series. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. The last thing I would say is I feel like I have a little bit like a street style. Like I love like bomber yes. jackets and kind of like the car. That. You love like, like a cargo pant, like mm. um, um, 
what do I want to say? Uh, uh, jumpsuit. Ooh, yeah. Vibe. Yeah, you like a jumpsuit. You've I got the like door knockers. Like you're still going. You're, yeah, you're still going back to that like '90s style mm -hmm. a lot. Like yeah. that's what I've observed. My nameplate it actually says Usagi. <laughs> yes, yes, but having a nameplate like that is very much. <laughs> yeah actually i've noticed that you had that and it's just so fun to be like oh it doesn't have to be your name <laughs> right that was like because at first i was like i don't want a nameplate then i was like wait a minute yeah <laughs> maybe and i do and it's like a deterrent for people who are trying to learn to like find out your name and they're like oh you have a nameplate right um which i've definitely done as a like back when I was like a cashier or like a, at register somewhere mm -hmm. and be like, you know, you use something to like uh, identify people by their name or whatever. Right. But, you know, it's a thing that is a, Ooh, I forgot what the phrase is called where it's like, it's, it's basically in modern terms, like, if you know, you know, mm -hmm. um, but there's it, the nerd part is coming out um, where it's like this old Bible thing. And it's like a uh, shibboleth or I think it is. Mm -hmm. And it's like, Oh, a code word that only other people of part of your community know about. And so if somebody on the street is like, Oh, Hey, what's up? Like, Hey, U -us 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 Usaj Usaji. Right. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like, only if you, if you know, you know, you know, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And I also wasn't allowed to have a nameplate growing up because my mom was afraid of that exact thing. She's like, someone's going to come up to you and pretend they know you and then they're going to kidnap you. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so this is still rooted in childhood trauma as well. Got it. Yep. Got it. Um, so what did we say? Classic, street. And then cute, girly. Cute. Mm -hmm. Cute, girly. All over the base of nerd. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Love that. Uh, that makes sense from what I've observed of you. Um, I, what, what media inspires your style? Obviously Sailor Moon. So please, please expound upon that. But are there other like anime or other shows or other media? Like if you, even the street style could come from pop culture. So mm -hmm. what, uh, what do you think inspires your style? I feel like lately it's been insecure actually. Ah, yeah. nice, nice. And just like a lot of TV in general, I'm a person, I go to shopyourtv.com a lot, which is like Ooh. a site that tells you what a person was wearing on a television show. Yes. Well, or now I like- I've heard of it, but I didn't know it was still active. It is. Yeah. I use it for Abbott Elementary often. <laughs> Which another one. Yeah. So Insecure yes, and Abbott yes. Elementary, I think is like their top two shows where I'm just like, Ooh, what are you wearing? <laughs> what, yeah. And that it? absolutely aligns with like a classic, but street style. Um, mm -hmm. You know, Janine dress is very nerdy too. So right. I think that aligns as well. It's sort of like, she's still in the nerdy. Um, how would I put it? Nerdy, but doesn't know how to dress herself yet. Um, I actually literally just watched Quinta Brunson on Hot Ones and, and he asked yeah. her a question about that. And she said like, oh, like her style over the course of these three seasons we've had so far has evolved. And it's because she was wearing, they were dressing her bad on purpose. Obviously mm -hmm. the characters mention it a lot, but it's like, she's now trying, like understanding, like they're not, it's not something they're talking about necessarily. Like maybe they'll bring it up, but she's someone who's like understanding her style a bit more. And like <laughs> Quinta said, she's like watching YouTube videos. Yeah. And have up. <laughs> yeah. I was, when she said that, that was so relatable to me because that was kind of what I did. Like essentially during the pandemic, because mm. there was so like, I went through this thing where and maybe you can relate where it was like my like finances never matched with what like outfits I wanted to wear or the style I wanted. So like every time I wanted to switch my style, I would have to like do it slowly. Yes. And then like, yes. By the time I was like, all right, now I have all these things. And it's like, mm, I don't kind of don't want to wear any of these things anymore. <laughs> but it's like, I don't have enough money to like overhaul my whole like style. And Absolutely. So I think during the pandemic, I was able to kind of like, all right, what do I want to wear? Like what, what are some things that I think I won't get tired of? And really kind of slowly doing that and then came out and was like, yay, I'm stylish now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, definitely like more time to be introspective because we weren't going anywhere. So it's like, okay, mm -hmm. if I do go somewhere, I want to be super intentional about what I wear. Even I still do that to this day because mm -hmm. thankfully I don't have to go into the office unless, you know, like approximately once a week. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's like, this is the one day I'm going into the office. So I got to make it count. <laughs> yeah, like going out feels like an event. <laughs> every time, yeah. every time. And sometimes on the bad side, you're just like, how do I get dressed? Like what? How do I get dressed? I've forgotten how to go outside. <laughs> that too. Yeah. Cause I'm just going like, to the store downtown, but exactly. I've forgotten everything. <laughs> yeah. That's the frustrating thing now to a degree. Cause I, I moved um, last year and where I am is like, I'm next to kind of like a busy street in Brooklyn. And um, I can't just like run out and like grab coffee or something. <laughs> I'm just like, dang, I gotta like actually like look, a little bit better than just like right. whatever you want to look presentable slightly mm -hmm. presentable yeah. yeah yeah um in terms of sailor moon specifically like how how has that impacted your style do you think yeah i think it's one of the another thing where it's like i don't know if it impacted my style or my style just reflects it but right. um i definitely like look at those outfits though and I'm like oh I want to recreate that I want to recreate that like and you right? have I have yeah like I did raise like pink jumpsuit and like white iconic. shirt and iconic that's just and super an simple. I would wear <laughs> yeah it's like super simple but also not easy to to recreate like where did you get that the jumpsuit it took me quite some google time um <laughs> you got a little thumbs up that's funny yes. <laughs> um, let me turn off facetime yeah this facetime filter thing <laughs> but i got it from um nordstrom um, oh yeah i was looking up pink jumpsuits and it was harder than i thought because there were a lot that were like they were the wrong color some were like too hot pink or too light some didn't right. have like the um the pocket in the front or like they just like didn't look like they would fit honestly because you know I'm thicker so having right. figured that out making sure that it would look okay so it took it took like half a day probably of just like searching on Google and just like watching TV but like a dedicated search on Google this is not like oh yeah. it just you know I looked once and then I looked three hours later no a dedicated search dedicated, dedicated search like search. scrolling through like Page funny, I thought you were gonna shopping. say like it took me weeks. <laughs> and you're like, you know, half a day. And I'm like, no, okay, no. But like that's a lot of, right. of it's a lot of Google pages. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then I, I think I didn't Google. even buy it like that day because it was more than I wanted to spend. And I was just like, ugh. But then I was like, mm, it's kind of worth it. And that's then also you know the struggle. I am big on Klarna in a firm, so <laughs> there is that too. Nerd nerd style tip. Clarna and Affirm. Yes. Absolutely. Like, every time I do a Hot Topic haul, it's like, all right. <laughs> I just need you to be clear about how I did this. Right. Clarna and Affirm. I'm yeah, not... me and my credit card are, you know, we're fine. It's not, we're not in danger or anything. Right. But we're best friends. But, you know, do we go on adventures that maybe we shouldn't? Sometimes. Just a little bit. Sometimes, but then we also go on a very important business trip. So, you know, it's a balance, like you said. Balance. Listen, and like with the podcast, a lot of my Sailor Moon merch, I'm like, write it off on taxes. I'm like, absolutely. We're good. We're good. Don't, don't <laughs> give me ideas. <laughs> <laughs> this is why it's a problem for me. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying to get into nerd media to write off. <laughs> Your, your merch. clothes and your merch but also i'm not not saying that like listen we're just gonna see what tax season calls to us okay maybe right. we'll talk to we'll, we'll talk to someone so i don't end up in jail smart smart <laughs> um yeah what else like okay so i saw you recently and we were at your event for uh, Valentine's Day, so it was all Sailor Moon R movie themed, and you were wearing a black dress with like roses on it. Am I right? Yeah. So obviously tuxedo mask inspired, and then you came out in a like tuxedo mask like <laughs> pullover top with yeah. the cape and like the, the, the paper glasses and the hat. Tell me more. Tell me how how you did that. Tell tell me more. Yeah. Oh, it was so fun. It was so it was so, so fun. Funny. I really love it, creating like experiences for people. 
especially like Sailor Moon stuff. Because I don't know, it just it's fun. Um, so the dress actually is from Black Milk. It's from their Sailor Moon collection. So it actually had like also small oh, it little. Was. It tuxedo really masks was on tuxedo it. mask theme. Mm-hmm. Okay, it wasn't just like a, a a casual cosplay or closet cosplay. It was mm-hmm. really from that brand. Yes, yeah. I I have often looked at Black Milk and just I haven't made the, the 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 switch yet. But you just gave me inspiration to know that they it fits. You know, Kirby girls. Because mm-hmm. I wasn't sure. It was really that I wasn't sure. I get that. I was concerned mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Yeah. But it does. Uh, it definitely mm-hmm. does. Cause I got their cargo pants and that dress and both. And I got I mean I got a few things with with the gift Florida of Florida and <laughs> tax write-offs. <laughs> Which is why I, I wore it to the event. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I see you. I see you. But um so um so I actually did a Sailor Moon uh S screening for Christmas. And during yes. that screening, I handed out um the candies, like the star candies that um the <laughs> it's always a theme. Um, always i love that yeah the one that you know luna gets from her boo thing and so <laughs> for this one i was like what can i give out and i was thinking valentine's day so i was like oh it'd be really cute to give out roses because this movie is clearly like centered on tuxedo mass it's valentine's Absolutely. day i'm like cute love it and i was telling my friend about it and i was like yeah i'm gonna hand out roses and valentine's day cards it's gonna be so cute he was like oh you should get someone to dress up as tuxedo mask and do it. And I was like, damn, that's a great idea. <laughs> I was yeah. like, actually, huh. And this was like two weeks out from the event. And I'm like, all right, how can I make this happen? I'm like, well, I don't have money to pay like an actor. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't have a guy friend who I can just be like, hey, put this on. <laughs> like, go with me to this event. Put this on. Hand out roses, and then you're free to go. <laughs> yeah. And then I actually did reach out to one of my friends who is an actor. I forget, forgot he was in acting school, but he wasn't able to do it. And I was like, damn, that was my one person. Um, it's like, we have plans, whatever. <laughs> but, um, Life. So I was like, I'll just wear it. And I ordered it. Um, and so I actually have the full tuxedo mask cosplay now. But I didn't want to do, put on the pants because I was no. like, I don't want to go to the bathroom and change. So I was like, I'll just no. put on the top over you the dress. You have the skirt. Yeah, you have the, the skirt of the dress. So it worked out great. Yeah. And um, at first, yeah, I was going to do it in the beginning when people were coming in. But I was like, I feel like it'll be a lot funner to like come out and surprise. It was a nice surprise. It, it was, was really nice fun to see everyone's faces. <laughs> That's so funny. And you got that from Amazon, you said? Yeah. That's wild. Yeah, it's like fun costumes, whatever. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, in terms of Sailor Moon and fashion, like there is kind of a lot to discuss. Like, I know that Naoko Takeuchi, who wrote the manga and everything, was super inspired by high fashion, by you know Chanel mm-hmm. particularly. What do you know about that sort of like lore about the inspiration of high fashion on the manga? Like there are just some outfits that were literally featured on the runway by mm-hmm. Chanel and then were uh, featured on the on the in the manga. So what what do you know? Yeah, My Sailor Moon expert here. <laughs> like, let me sit up straight. Oh, um, <laughs> I know. Oh, um, so. I'm not sure. I know, like, she loves fashion, obviously. It's shown through, like, the design she created for, like, the characters and just, like, her inspiration. So, but I don't know, like, what made her choose, like, certain things or, like, how she right. found them or whatever. But, um, um, but yeah, so, like, Taylor Pluto wears, like, a Chanel dress um, at some point. Um, and then, which we'll get to talk about later, which I, like, found a, ra- a version of it. So that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, um, and then Sailor uh, Princess Serenity's dress is actually inspired by a um, Christian Dior dress, and then a lot of the villains, are, um, their outfits are actually inspired by um, Thierry Mugler, ah, uh, um, Queen Beryl, um, her like henchmen, so Jedi, Nephrite, and them. Um, Even the suits, yeah, the like suits. the classic suits. Oh, mm-hmm. the great suits. yeah, they look very yeah. similar to like these Thierry Mugler suits. Um, and then who? Uh, what else? I feel like I'm missing. Something. But I think those are like the big three for sure. The main ones, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, That's incredible. Mm-hmm. And then now Sailor Moon has had 
I was reading very briefly um, about like there were several years where there was no Sailor Moon stuff at all. Like there was just like a licensing, yeah, you know, uh, freeze basically, um, which tracks because there was so long where I couldn't find anything Sailor Moon. Like I didn't like we were talking about earlier. Like I didn't have the money. I had one like graphic T shirt that my cousin got me. I have some of the DVD, no, the VHSs. Um, older millennial here um i have some of the vhs's and that's kind of it i didn't have a lot of merch like i didn't get a lot of that stuff as a child and then um i was reading it was like oh five or so that that started to be like this like black hole of this negaverse of (laughs) of licensing uh until like a few years ago so like but now we have these really cool collabs like i have the oh where did it go um because obviously my makeup Ooh. is it um the color pop uh collection let's see there we go Ooh. <laughs> uh, 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 sorry yeah, nah. <laughs> um but we have the color pop collab i have a my airpods case is a sailor moon thing um oh, we've got that we have t-shirts we have so many things now I'm like, I have that um, somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So like, oh, those Jimmy Choo shoes also. Mm-hmm. So like there is a reverse happening now where it's like, yes, Sailor Moon was inspired by fashion. It has inspired our own clothing choices and just general personalities. Mm-hmm. But now they also it also has like made its way into both high and like average, you know, clothing stores and stuff. Like, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, it's it's wonderful and also very hurtful for my pockets because <laughs> I remember that like looking for like I would go to Hot Topic every single time I was at the mall just just to see Same. and I would check the shelves at Barnes and Nobles every time to see if there was a manga and it wasn't there for so long and till this day I still look and I see it and I get happy but <laughs> I know I do just go look at it like yeah, oh it's still, here it's still here okay cool just in case I need it like I have a couple I'm still building my collection but mm-hmm. it's like all right, is today today? No, but they're still here. Yeah, it's just like, oh, it's like my comfort anime, comfort manga shelf at Barnes and Nobles. <laughs> but um, yeah, so like, I remember that drought. And so now like every time there's something new, I'm like, oh, yay, oh, yay. And now it's kind of gotten to the point where I'm like, okay, I don't have to buy everything. Like it's, it's here. Can't. Like, Literally I'll can't. Have, like, just in case it disappears. I think that was the fear at first. It was like, I just got to get every Sailor Moon thing because you never know. And now it's like, yeah. okay, there's there's been enough. Like It's safely in the licensing and society now. Like, right. okay, we still have, like, at Box Lunch or, or Hot Topic, mm-hmm. they still have, like, a dedicated, like, like shelf. Yeah. For, like, shelving unit, in fact. <laughs> right. And I'm seeing it at Target now, like, Forever 21. So I'm like, okay, I feel, I feel good. So now I'm just like, I'm just going to buy the things I like. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, but... It's just been so fun. Like these collections, I feel like we're just getting, at first it was just like whatever I can get my hands on. But now I feel like there's like really cool and unique pieces. Like we're talking about the black milk collection, like to be able to have like this yeah. kind of like sundress with tuxedo mask and rose print on it. Or, you know, the, um, I found a bucket hat with like the, that I wore at the day party last year. You did wear that your Sailor Moon day party last year. Yeah. Yeah. So like little stuff like that, where, I love stuff that can be nerdy, but like also like things you wouldn't know was nerdy if you didn't know. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so if you know, you know, moment. Exactly. Um, no, you know, very... also can like blend. <laughs> yes. Yes. Which also goes back to your classic in your style. Yeah. It's like you don't have to know, but if you know, you know. Exactly, you know. Um, and then exactly. we're like, we're here. We're best yeah, friends. It's like, oh, I know what it is now. Yeah. Like, this is a whole new vibe to this right. conversation. <laughs> um, why do you think Sailor Moon has made its way into our pop culture hearts the way that it has? Like you like we were talking about, there was this like 10-year period where there was nothing. And then obviously it's Sailor Moon Crystal and mm-hmm. they've like repackaged the manga and stuff, but like like you said, it's everywhere. It's at Old Navy. Yeah. It's at Target. Like, why do you think it's made its way into even the sort of like normie spaces? Yeah, I think there's <laughs> something about Sailor Moon. And I think I've been thinking about this a lot with the podcast because as much as like it's like an anime thing, it's also kind of reached like an overall pop culture thing up there with like 
Pokemon and like Hello Kitty yeah. and Ooh, yeah. Um, yeah, like it's it's definitely like there are people I think who know Sailor Moon who have seen like the imagery, but like never watched the show. Agree. Um, and I think there's just something like inviting about the aesthetic that just like gets people and that some other shows may not. And it's just it's just cute. It's really cute. And it's really like fun. And it's like, I mean, look at our shirts. <laughs> I mean, absolutely. Like this one's like kind of like steampunk, like, yeah. like samurai, like she's about to go fight some people, but like in a different universe. It's mm-hmm. so cool. Like there's so many ways that you can like twist it. Like I remember that right. animate that, uh, that like drawing challenge that people were doing where it's like draw this scene in your style mm-hmm. and it's like Sailor Moon like looking up tearfully at an enemy or something and mm-hmm. people were drawing it in their different styles and it like yeah. looks good in every style. <laughs> it really does. Yeah, it's so malleable in that way where it's just like and people have remixed it so much. Like I'm pretty sure I'm like I can't see everything on your wall, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was like a remix. There's uh <laughs> yes, there is like we're literally right up here gentle that one oh, right it. above yeah. my head I which is it. kind of how my my hair is the way it is today it was inspired by the like sailor moon like a afro sailor moon vibe i love so. it yeah I think- my odangos yeah. <laughs> oh, i have some art over there but i can't reach it so i'll yeah. just yeah I'll just imagine it <laughs> but it's like black sailor moon inspired art um and i'm forgetting the artist which i was like kicking me but um but yeah I think I think that's really like it's just like inviting and I think for people who've watched it like or at least seen a little bit of it like the transformation sequences are just mesmerizing I think the story is just like really funny and cute and romantic and there's like Mm -hmm. action adventure so you're kind of like being fight all of my favorite things like princesses superheroes time travel space like I wore you know I don't really wear that many necklaces but I had to wear my space necklace for today is um you know like you said action adventure it's actually really funny i rewatched it a few years ago like maybe pre-pandemic or during the pandemic and it's like damn it's so funny (laughs) that was one of the things like i rewatched it also like during the pandemic i think and um or maybe around the time yeah i guess yeah that was during the pandemic because i launched the podcast literally in march 2020 (laughs) yeah (laughs) so um but i wanted to rewatch it like you know as I was doing the podcast, because I was like, I'm going to yeah. be talking about this a lot. Um, and that was another realization. I mean, I'm like, this show is actually like almost a comedy above anything else. Yeah. And it's great. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. So it's like, there are so many aspects to it that are just so uh, easy. Mm-hmm. And it's sort of like, not to say blank slate, because it's obviously has so many things to it, but it's just an easy entry. Like, I mean, it's one of the reasons why it is a lot of people's entryway to the rest of the anime world. Mm -hmm. It is the thing that came on after school or maybe before school. uh, And that was what anime was in the 90s. It was like this hour of or two hours of television that you got. (laughs) And then we kind of got like Toonami or no, not Toonami. That was the Toonami block. But then we got like Adult Swim. So you got a couple of other uh... entryways. (laughs) Yes, the Inuyasha stuff, like other entryways into anime. And Mm -hmm. and so, you know, Sailor Moon is one of the, if not the most iconic one. (laughs) I agree. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like it's, it's so much, there's so much nostalgia for it because it's the entry way anime for so many people. Or there's a lot of people too. And even people who come on the podcast do agree. Like they watched it when they were younger, but like, never really watched another anime it was just like no I just really liked this show that one you know that was it and yeah but yeah gateway anime but also just like a show that holds a lot of nostalgia for a lot of people from when we were younger and just watching it because it was it was so good and it holds up so well yeah do you think their outfits hold up they are very stylish girls it was one of those times especially like in the 90s we still had cartoons where characters wore the same thing every day like they just had a closet full of like fred flintstone outfits you know and (laughs) they were like there is an element of that because they have their school uniform Mm -hmm. and then their like transformation uniform is based on their school uniform so it's all kind of similar and I wasn't really as a kid especially paying attention to the fact that they changed their clothes like that is something that other tv shows especially at the time weren't doing like Doug wore the same stuff like green vest (laughs) yeah like Danny Phantom wore the same stuff Kim Possible wore the Mm -hmm. same clothes you know so um 
but it was one of those few shows, especially for the time period where characters, they actually did have style. And Mm -hmm. again, rewatching it as I did in recent years, it's like, oh, they have outfits. Like I can't pinpoint like what each character style is. Like it's kind of obvious, like Ray wears a lot of like classic, but also like billowy and like chic clothes Mm -hmm. and you know obviously haruka dresses like a tomboy and stuff like that like things that match their character but do you think like your observation of their like clothing do you think it holds up uh maybe not it never held up mamaru's uh infamous green jacket but besides that green jacket (laughs) i did too it was like every time i would read fan fiction it's like they're always dunking on it but it's like but you have to have it (laughs) yeah now i don't know if you should have matched it with like lilac pants (laughs) <laughs> but I like the green jacket and actually the green I'm pants like, that I have are kind of like every time I wear them they kind of remind me of his jacket <laughs> I'm like okay was it a uniform for him maybe like it doesn't have a, any uniform yeah. other uniform aspects but um, I, I think about that because you know when we think when we think about the his his, his, his age uh, which we try not to think about very often but he's like he's like, like early, early college yeah, he's like, it's like 18, seven, 17. Let's go with 17. Let's go so 17. Sailor Moon R movie is Usagi is three and he is like six. So it's a three year age gap. Yeah. Again, it's not great still, but better than like, oh, he is in college and right. she's in middle school. Like it's better than that. Anyway, all that to say is mm-hmm. maybe it's a uniform. I'm just going to go with that. Yeah. Like why else would he wear it every or you know what it day. could be? You know how like you have that jacket, you kind of just throw over everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe it's that yeah. for him. But the lilac pants, he threw over everything. Yeah, that's true. See, I can't defend that. I can't defend that. <laughs> Our poor boy. He <laughs> but, gets better as the show goes on. He gets better. He does. Even the girls like beat him into submission and like yeah, take definitely. over his closet. He has the Gordon Gartrell shirt in the movie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> which i always find Amazing. funny i'm like what are the chances you right know, like the same design like this yellow shirt with like purple detailing like what is that who did that at the same time like both in yeah. the night early 90s like how did that happen across the world <laughs> right very different demographics yeah. yeah incredible yeah so um but i think i think maybe like 60 percent holds up um, okay i think a good 60 percent. like i think like a lot of like Ray's outfits hold up. Like I said, like pink overalls, white shirts. Yeah. Like that's just gonna be timeless. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of like teal or turquoise in the show that I personally mm. just don't love. I feel Fair. like it's very like '90s color. Oh yeah, like, kind of definitely just, like, a '90s color. Vaporwave. Space. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And so I don't always love that, especially like I feel like the color matching sometimes can be like a bit much. <laughs> But yeah. I'm also a person who doesn't like to mix too many colors. I'm just like three max. And so <laughs> that is also me. Fair. Yeah. But I think they always look really cute. Um, yeah. And just like, I don't know, fun. Yeah. Absolutely. Are there other anime um, or like nerd media that you are noticing having a moment in pop culture style or fashion? Definitely Yu Yu Hakusho and Nana. Interesting. 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 Yeah. Tell me more. Tell me more. I feel like I've just been seeing them, like people appreciating, kind of like we were talking about with Sailor Moon, like reappreciating the like outfits. I've been seeing mm-hmm. that a lot more with those two shows. And I think they're also like shows where the characters change outfits often. People are just mm-hmm. like appreciating, like, oh, like they actually had some like cute stuff on. Like, what was going on here? Like, this little frilly dress and. I think Nana is also a show that just like the aesthetic of it is just like really nice. I don't know, like these earrings are actually Nana. Ah, I was gonna ask yeah. what they were. Uh-huh. 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 With the manga inside. Got it from I'll have to look it up. They're really cute. Um, I really like these, but yeah, I feel like the Nana hive has been like rising. <laughs> it's just been like, yes, our time is now. Um, and I'm I'm late to the hives. So I can't, you know, say I watched that. I watched it during the pandemic and was like, I gotcha. love this. I have uh, I'm not even aware of the hive. I didn't know there was a hive. I'm gonna yeah. go find out now. The hive is real. Like people will go hard for Nana. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> and it's so good. It's it's a really cool, like, again, like another, like, I think more romance than anything else, but definitely like coming of age, young girls, like early 20s dealing with like life and romance and men who suck. <laughs> I was trying to find the nicest way to say that. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they sometimes they do. Sometimes um, they do. Yeah. yeah. Definitely in Nana. Um and not always. Not always. So there are some nice guys in Nana too. But um yeah, then like, you know, they're best friends and they're dealing with like living together and you know, all that jazz. I'll have to check it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I think those two for sure. And of course, you know, I always find it funny that I'm like, you who Hakusho is getting brought up because I'm like, you know, they're married. They're like fashion icons within the anime. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The creator of Yu Yu Hakusho and Naoko Tekuchi. Mm hmm. Our yes. 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 So, so fun. Mm -hmm. So like fun. They're truly anime manga royalty. Yeah. They're the Beyonce and Jay Z of anime. Yeah. And like Naoko also kind of like did her big thing and then was like, that's enough. Yeah. True. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> okay. I did it. <laughs> like, all right, bye. Bye. Yeah. Like I'm I, enough and I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah. And it's it'll be interesting to see, you know, with these like live actions, mm -hmm. like versions of anime and like continuations and stuff. Like so far she hasn't like fed onto the train of just like you know dragon ball z is, is still airing like <laughs> right like that one's probably never ending right but um and oh, pokemon just ended like it's been decades at this point um but she told a you know a good story and and then you know it was adapted into an anime that had some more to it like they added stuff to it and then i know there's the live action mm -hmm. from japan and stuff like that but um, but all of those are based on this core story. And even though there is so much more you could tell, yeah. um, there's so much more universe. Um, she hasn't like told those stories yet. So I'm interested, I'll be interested to see if she ever does. I would love that. There are so many, like, I actually wrote a whole article. One of my random articles on the internet was like ideas for Sailor Moon spinoffs. And I want that so bad. But so many good options. I also think it is inevitable that Netflix is going to adapt Sailor Moon. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I'm sorry, but it's gonna happen. Like at this point, like if you can do One Piece, Naruto, and Avatar: The Last Airbender, like you just you have no cares in the world. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, we don't care what fandom we piss off. We're gonna do it. <laughs> Oh, um, I need like them to have some color. color, and it has to have color. That's all I. That's really what I ask the most. Yeah, but also don't. But also, please, please have color because that's the main thing. These shows just are so grayed out. That's a good. Yeah, point. we definitely need color. Yeah, which again goes back to this. Like, I mean, that is part of my personal style. <laughs> it's a, it's a <laughs> It's not how I did that, but um, Sailor Moon is like it. It depends on having color. Yeah, it absolutely does. So there is literally like get some Sailor color Moon. correction in there. Get get those visual designers and visual artists. Okay, if you're gonna mm -hmm. if you're gonna go there, get it right. I need the Tokyo skyline to be <sighs> blue and like pop with bubbles and yeah. like light. Ooh, with the moon mm -hmm. i need it i agree I... and it can't be this dark it has to be light we'll see yeah we'll see yeah <gasps> anyway yeah <laughs> what are some of your favorite brands and shops that incorporate nerd stuff into their products yeah obviously black milk is on your list obviously <laughs> yeah that whole collection i've been like waiting for them to do stuff because i loved their Avatar stuff and their um, Zelda stuff. So I've just been like, do Sailor Moon. Um, and it did not disappoint. Uh, uh, but also I really love Atsuko. I feel like okay. their stuff is just like, I like learning back to like that street stuff. Like I have this Hunter Hunter jacket from there. That's just like really cool. It's like, a, like almost like a Letterman jacket. Mm -hmm. I love those. Yeah. And I got this Samurai Shampoo kind of like hoodie bomber jacket combo. And yeah. It's just been like, 
fun. I'm like, ooh, I like this. I love a good jacket. Um, so definitely those two. Um, what else do I like? Hot Topic, I think, like, naturally. I've been it lately. Like, yes. obviously, this is the shirts. I think it's pretty sure it's from Hot Topic. But um, I really love how they, they create, like, these villain merch tees that kind of look like band t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> and it's one of those I think things. I saw one of those recently, yeah. Yeah, and it's another one of those, like, if you know, you know. But if you don't know, you'd be like, what band? What band is up? The Black Moon Clan? Like, what is that? Right. <laughs> That's like, like I've never heard of them. Are they are they foreign? Yeah. Like, yes, yeah, a little mm -hmm. bit. From they're, from, they're from Japan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so it's like a J-pop group, mm -hmm. kind of. <laughs> they was popping hearts or souls or which one were they? <laughs> right. Uh, souls and they were, yeah, memory. energy. They was popping that energy crystals. Yeah. Always <laughs> energy, <laughs> turning black ladies into wicked ladies. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I think those are definitely like my top three, and um, and like Hot Topic too. They also had like a few like um, they had like a button up T shirt that I got that was really cute. Again, when I was like, oh, I can kind of wear this to work, and again, like, right, it was a little more overt because it has like this huge like symbol on the back, but <laughs> it oh, also put, put a jacket over it, get a vest, right. and you can really make it more subtle. Yeah, like a little collar, and I think it just says like Sailor Moon on the collar, and it had like something like in the front, but it was just like a cute like little button up, and I was like, yeah, I can work with this. I can work with. I this. love ways to incorporate nerd style into your professional wear. So, yeah. you know, if y'all are watching the show and you like it enough, and you think that's a good idea, or you have done so, mm -hmm. hit me up. Yes, okay. I'm like, did I? Um, no, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, as you mentioned earlier, your graphic novel yeah. is basically a uh, magical girl show, but they are fill in the blank. Yeah, so it's hip hop inspired magical mm -hmm. girls. So it is um, five girls, the rapper, DJ, choreographer, head choreographer, tour manager, and I always forget this last one and I feel so bad. <laughs> you you create your own character. Huh? I know, yeah. It's that's how bad my memory is. I forget my own characters. I'm like, what else do you need for a group? Oh, her makeup artist. Her makeup artist. Very important. Very important. Very important. Yeah. And they're all kind of like inspired by like the five like elements of hip hop. So like makeup's like graffiti and like DJs, DJ, rappers, rapper, obviously, tour managers like yeah. college or whatever. Um, and yeah, so they're just like going on tour and trying to like get attacked, they're getting attacked by monsters, they don't know why, and trying to figure that out um but yeah but a lot of it is inspired by because i was like again trying to figure out how can i create a look that like looks good mm -hmm. but also has that timelessness so like when yeah look at it like years from now they don't look back like oh i know when this came out and i think i maybe found a good balance like a lot of it's definitely like sailor moon inspired so like so i looked at a lot of like 90s hip-hop looks and like a lot of like missy elliott and like Ooh. brown and lil kim so like looking at like those people who like to this day people are like this was a look like we still love right it. um and then also actually like the translucent like colorful tech that kind of goes around a lot yeah yes because <laughs> i'm like people like i love those um like the little like imac computers and stuff yes like i saw or randomly i was on amazon and i've been looking at like switch uh Ooh. accessories and stuff and they have these like cover cases that are that style but I think you'd have to like pry off the actual oh, one. Oh, and right. I'm like, oh, I don't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. And I can't, I can't risk it. But I was tempted. It I was in my it. cart until I was like, oh, this isn't the this isn't the actual Joy-Con. It is just the still the case to go over the Joy-Con. And then in order for it to look like the style, you have to take off the other one <sighs> as to advance for me. Yeah, that's a lot. But ugh, if they make Joy-Cons that anyway continue yeah. no I'm with you I'm with you so yeah so that is kind of the combo of things I've been looking at just definitely a lot of, like 90s early 2000s fashion some 80s as well like MC mm. Light and um yeah really Queen Latifah and stuff um but just like really looking at like and salt and pepper too um and obviously. TLC <laughs> obviously yeah a lot, of, <sighs> a lot of obviousness um just like all adding them to my Pinterest board and being like yes all of this and just sending it to my artists and being like Please create something. <laughs> Here's the mood board. Here, watch some magic. 
Uh, I hope it works out. I can't wait to see what it looks like and what those styles look like, especially mixed with the magical girl style. Like that's going to be so cool. Yeah. Um, and so best of luck with that. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Finally, do, if, do you have any advice at all for anyone who's looking to develop their sense of nerd style? Yeah, I think definitely. I mean, I'm a big on Pinterest. Like I will just <laughs> search things and look through it. And then, you know, all of it, you know, soon enough, it'll like create an algorithm for you. And it works pretty well to kind of like bring you stuff that you like. Just adding that to lists. Um, definitely, if you see something on TV, check that website or just like, I take pictures now too. And you can like reverse Google search. And it'll Yes. Oh, oh. Yes. So I've been doing that That's a lot. Smart. Um, and then I think like one thing I've been doing, cause I'm super indecisive, but, um, is <laughs> following like intuition. So <laughs> I'll, sometimes I'll just like wake up and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to throw on the first things that feel like it'll go together and walk yes. out the door. So I don't get caught in like decision paralysis. And then I'm like stuck for two hours trying to figure out what to wear. And then or like, you're just like putting things on and then taking them off and then putting them back yeah. another thing on. And then now the, your bed is like it's full of clothes and then you have to go out and then come home and then put them on the chair the stuff on your bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Right. Either move them over so I can sleep or like pick them all up and put them on the chair. <laughs> on the chair. The mm -hmm. chair. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, it's hard out here. It's hard out here. So I've been doing that. And then like, usually like, I'm like, oh, this is actually like a cute outfit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Will I ever wear it again? Usually no. Like I yeah. am not necessarily an outfit repeater. Like I am a item repeater. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. But I'm not necessarily an outfit repeater. Not necessarily on purpose. But it's because like you said, it's like very much just a, what do I think goes together of the clothes that are yeah. clean? And sometimes it's just like a mood. <laughs> yeah and i'm just like yeah it's like oh like, i didn't realize i bought this and this and they kind of go together let's just put it on yeah yeah that's yeah. true i don't repeat outfits often i've definitely done it yeah um especially yeah. if like i don't have a picture of it or like no one saw me <laughs> mood i'm like well it didn't count it didn't count i'm like i know somewhere i could wear this mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. so I definitely we'll do that um but yeah, I think also just like having fun with it too. Like, yeah, especially when it's nerd stuff. Like, yeah, so many brands now. Like when we were kids, when we were teens, when we were in college, even, um, we did not have the wealth of opportunity that we do to dress like our favorite fandoms and shows. Mm -hmm. And it's a it's as good a time as ever, both between like big brands and like indie places. So it's like, just have fun and remember, affirm and Klarna. <laughs> yes. Affirm and Klarna, number one tip. Yeah. Hands down. Hold you down. <laughs> Don't do it too much, though. Yeah, because then it's just, it's just the same problems. It's yeah. the same problems. <laughs> exactly. exactly. You know, pay something off and then do a new one. Exactly. Yes. Uh, thank you, Victoria, for being my first guest. Oh, my gosh. Uh, thank you. Love you. Um, that's all for, for today. Uh, thank you for joining me on my first episode of Nerd Aesthetics, uh, a show about nerd style and fashion. I don't know why I said it like that. Um, if you like this episode, please leave a comment, like this episode, uh, share it with your friends. You can also subscribe to learn more about nerd style, my personal style, and get great guests like Victoria, who will tell us how we can all be our best nerdy selves. Mm -hmm. All right. See you next time. <laughs>